Well, here we go with our final contest of the evening, and we're not calling it our main event because every single fight on a century card is a main event. We've seen it. Every single winner gets a gets a belt because every single winner is a champion on the century card. Now, this is our only mixed martial arts fight of the evening. I'm joined once again by hero and legend from Australia, Sam Greco. Sam, what an evening it's been. Mate, it's been Good exciting. Great. I wouldn't expect this to be any different. Now, just one thing before this explosive fight, and I'm sure it's going to be explosive, gets underway. They're only being going to be given 30 seconds on the ground to work before Sammy Schilt, our referee, stands them up. So it's sort of, it's unified rules, mixed martial arts, but they're only going to be 30 seconds before they get stood up. That's correct. And there's only two down. So if you can take the guy to the ground twice, you've only got two opportunities in one round. Interesting. Yeah. Let's see what that does. Unless the rules changed. Well. <laughs> but that's the way it is. And this is interesting. Four ounce gloves as opposed to, you know, 10 ounce gloves. These guys are heavy hitters. It's like wearing just nothing on your fist. Well, the, let's remind everyone as well. People think that the gloves are there to protect your opponent from getting cut or whatever, but they're not. In a mixed martial arts fight, these gloves were designed to protect you from breaking your hands. Man, that's correct. It's a nice opening here by these uh, Valerian uh, Arturis. Well, Arturis took this fight very late notice, I have to say, but he looks in fantastic shape. And he's, he's a multiple Lithuanian judo champion who's chosen to stand and trade. Mm. And he's got a good jab. Oh, there we go, I said it too early. Could be see our first take down, there it is there. Goes into side, into uh, half guard. Working, a, a bit of a ground and pound from there. As you're probably aware, there's no elbows on the ground here. There's a ground and pound only, but with no elbows. And the Bulgarian doing a good job at defending the strikes. And he's gradually creeping towards the ropes. Let's see if uh, Sammy's going to stand them back up or reset them in the middle. He might reset them back in the middle or stand them back up, depending on what he sees fit. Well, there you go. There so we go. the rules Let's... are that it's going to be stood up in the center of the ring. So no one's disadvantaged there. <laughs> Just a little well. cheeky back spinning fist there. The, Lith Larry. the Lithuanians have got some powerful strikes. But the Bulgarian, Valery Atanasov, he was an amateur European mixed martial arts champion and he's been a mul multiple Bulgarian mixed martial arts champion, so he's no stranger to danger here in the ring. Um, he looks very composed. Very, very composed. But it looks to me like Arturis Kudresavos uh, He's, he looks hu the hungrier of the two, I have to say. He does indeed. He, he likes going for a waist lock into a double, a single to a double leg. But that's obviously from his judo background too. He yeah. likes to lock the legs and take them straight down. If these guys were hip to hip, a tourist, there it is there. Nice takedown, getting straight under that punch. Falling punch. again into half guard. End of the first round, and we have to give that to the Lithuanian. I think he was more successful, stood up with the strikes. And mostly the takedowns. I mean, the takedowns do, do score here and a bit of the ground and pound. So there's a variation there as opposed to the Bulgarian, what he brought to the table. So it still is a close fight, but nevertheless, you'd have to sort of give it to the Lithuanian that round. Yeah, it's got to be 10 9 to the, to the Lithuanian. But one thing, here's one thing for you, Sam. So when you're in a mixed martial arts fight, if you were judging it, if a fighter, you, everybody thinks that you get you get scored positively for getting a takedown. But the one thing that gets me is if I take a fighter down who's known Second as a grappling time. expert and I end up in his guard on the ground, I'm at the disadvantage. Oh, uh, so you, you, you could be. Am I going to get a positive score for the takedown or a you, negative score for pu putting myself in danger no you'll you'll get you'll get scored for taking him down but then you've got to upgrade your position from there if there's no ground and pound or you're not striker upgrading your position it'll be a stalemate they'll get you back up yeah so de beginning depending on the rule cut out these are modified rules uh -huh. there's that, that body lock again yeah, yeah. body lock Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh nice right hand from the Bulgarian. He's giving his rock to him. And he smells blood. Well, I think Valeri's just let him go then. Valeri should have jumped on him. Well, I think Valeri was, uh, he's been knocked out of his momentum by that right hand. Mm. And good Lord, you just can't blink tonight. Everything's turning around with, in an instant. This is where his judo comes in very, very handy to Taurus. In this sort of clinch, one underhook, one overhook. I thought he would, could have, I would have loved to have seen an Uchi Mata there. Yeah, in, well, in he tried. He tried to do it from the outside, <laughs> a trip from the outside, but didn't work. Nice now, jab there. Now the Bulgarian's confidence is, is growing. There's a shot down for, yeah, and for that, a double. It's getting sloppy though, isn't it? Yeah, he is. He's hurt again with another rock. Valeri just rocked him with another right hand. We'll see if Valeri can finish there. There's a double shot for a double. But he got that right underhook, which, yeah. had, which kept him upright. Yeah, he's got the whizzer on at the moment. It, and Valeri's getting very tired indeed. And the takedowns are getting lazy. And the Bulgarian's getting stronger and more confident as the fight goes on. Well, well, well. Nice oh, body nice shots, body shots. There. A lot of blood trickling out from the Lithuanian's nose. The Lithuanian's hurt. He's going to have to dig deep if he wants to come back from this. Atanasov is letting him off the hook, I feel. I think the referee's going to get that nose cleaned up. Just getting checked out. Now. Yeah, his nose is broken from the punch. It was probably broken before. Now. I don't think either of them have been let off the hook for this little uh, break. No, because not they're indeed. both being allowed to rest. But looking at the state of um, Kudresa Vos, Vas's uh, nose, that's going to hinder his breathing, surely. Well, doctor's looking at this, and he's obviously put some Vaseline on it just to wipe down all the blood. Don't know if he's sustained such an injury that this fight might stop. It doesn't look like it. The doctor's just examining it now, well, giving his last conclusion. Well, at this level... This is one thing that's questionable, whether you give them this amount of time. The fight can carry on. It's not, it's not life-threatening. Um, We're in for a great fight. Now they've both got to up their game. Oh, there's two beautiful shots there by Valeri. He knows he's got him hurt. Oh, and there's a the beautiful takedown. double leg. And he passes. He's he going to get an arm his guard. Arm. He's trying. He's trying. Well... He's attacking from north-south position. Oh, Valeri's just come back up, just shot back up. Just rose from the dead. His gum shield's oh. come out. The gum shield's out. Yep, mouth guard's down on the ground, so referee's just stopped this. Now, that was interesting. When the, when the Lithuanian got the takedown, Arturas got the takedown, and he passed the guard, but didn't really advance no, didn't any capitalize. submissions. Didn't so, capitalise on it at all. Fantastic judo, but limited jiu-jitsu. We just saw the end of the round. But sort of, I wouldn't say it's controversial. I mean, you split the mouth guard out or it falls out. Quickly should be put back in, and that's it. And the fight should have continued. But hell, it's been a hell of a fight. You know, it's... <laughs> at, at the end of the day, this is sheer excitement. These, these fights tonight have gone... I, I, I don't even know. I can't even find the appropriate word. <laughs> the excitement, it's killing me. That's what the problem well, is. Well, since she's on a journey of improvement and every single outing, they're tweaking it. But I have to say that these fights tonight have been the best matchups. Perfectly matched. Since Senshi came into existence, I, I have to say. And they've turned around. The audience have been stood on their feet. Uh, it, the turnaround with the, with the kickboxing earlier, was just, you couldn't have written that in a, in no, a movie. No. And it's... here we've got a round apiece, I'm certain of it. Mm. Um, so we go into the third and final round of our final event of the evening, and they must both know that they can still oh, win. Oh, it's anyone's fight at the moment. But the Lithuanian has to pull it out of the bag.
He does indeed. He's look. He's trying to score well with those double leg takedowns, but Valera is just laying laying leather straight on his face. And you watch uh, you watch Atanasov's punches, and they're straight. He's throwing them straight down the pipe. He's aiming for that nose. I'm sure. That was a sloppy takedown attempt. Now they're both slippery now. They're covered in sweat, which makes it a bit harder. Heavy shots being landed, but they're not damaging. Nice defend there to a double leg. Sammy's bringing them to the center. He wants to see some action. Kudrezov is tired. He's hurt. But he's digging deep, isn't he? He's still in there. He's still digging deep. He wants that takedown. He knows he's got his work cut out for him standing up. And he wants that takedown. Nice right hand. Speaking of the devil, he's just, he just proved me just wrong just then. Wow. He'll shoot a double straight under these hands if he keeps wearing that leather. There it is. There, there. it is, exactly. And with there a lovely hook the leg with his foot. He needs to get him out of the ropes. Guard. If he wants to work, he needs to get out of the ropes. As you can see, Valeri had his had his leg. If he had a great submission game, he, he could have finished this fight, I'm sure. He was in side control. He's got a layout. He's sitting too high for side control. And they're under the ropes, so the referee's going to call him up. Stand them both up. Well, when you're trying to get someone in a hit arm choke, you've got to drop your waist to the ground. But his hips, his hips were on the right side there for it. Yeah, but, um, but too high up. Here he goes again. It's a double. This has been an absolute war. Beautiful one-two combination by a tourist. And actually, the Bulgarian could, uh, could have thrown some knees with those sloppy takedowns. Oh, another right hand there from uh, worn well by Valeri. Just going for a waist lock. It's very slippery out there. He's got both underhooks. Yep. That was clever. He's he just laying in side control. Beautiful. There's a bit of ground and pound there, and these are scoring shots. There's no elbows, and he passes. Oh, he passes to full mount. This is going to be interesting. As well, you can see. <laughs> As you can Sorry. see, Valeri trying to, trying to hold on there. Ah, oh, a reversal. There's a reversal. Now it's a ground and pound. Oh, Valeri last, taking it home. The last few seconds of the final round, and that will shine in the judges' eyes. And this will be very, very interesting. Oh, my goodness me. What a great reversal to finish off the last five seconds of the ground and pound. Crowd were absolutely off their seats. But they couldn't believe that. And we were around a piece going into that final round. Would you say, blood, sweat, and tears will get you all the way? Well, come wow. on, come on, Sam, this give is me. A very exciting set of rules and an incredible fighting. Tell me what you've got. Tell me what you've got, say, Sam. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> NFI. Um, well, this look. This oh has been interesting. God. As I said to you. Um, I'm looking at a fight. Three judges are looking at the fight. I don't know what they're thinking and how they're scoring it. I'm pretty sure they're, they're scoring along the lines, but... This could go either way. This could go either way, and purely I say this, it was purely from a stand-up point of view. I would say Valeri would probably narrowly take it, but on the other side, you know, tourists with probably, I think there was about six takedowns. Yes, yes. And was, was he upgrading those takedowns? Was he effective in early in the piece he was and at the end probably in the first round and the last round but you know what as the judge said i don't really know i'm not going to call it i'm going to let them do it yeah I, I, man i've got a feeling it's going to go to the red corner i've got a feeling it's going red i think it might go the other way and 29 to 28 in favor of the blue corner well you got it that's what I said, and I, I said to you before. Man, I don't think that's unfair. What a fantastic evening, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely world-class combat sports action Some here. Some great sportsmanship. Look at them in the middle there. There's something happens when you, when you enter the arena like that.
and you almost try to destroy each other. You form a bond that can never, ever be broken. This has been Century 19, and I cannot wait for the next edition of Century 20. The never-ending pursuit of excellence for our athletes and the event. The arena filled with 10 K1 legends sat here commentating with me, judging, sorry, refereeing and officiating. It's been something absolutely special that has a flavor of the original K1 without a doubt. Um, where do we go from here? I'll tell you something just before we leave. I was here a while ago, since he's just getting better and better and better. It just keeps stepping it up, stepping it up, stepping it up. The most important thing, their matchmaking is unique. They're putting on fights. They know there's going to be an absolute war. And tonight we've got a war in every single fight. And the crowd's got their money worth. And I can't wait to see Senshi 20. I can't say any better, ladies and gentlemen. Keep up to date with everything Senshi on our social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Senshi.com. We'll see you next time for more Senshi.